Yo, what's going on everyone? It's D-Lord and today I am going to be showing you guys how to install mods for Madden 22 on PC. Hopefully this tutorial is nice, simple, and straight to the point and hopefully it does not confuse anybody. I will have all of the links that you need in the description because thanks to the amazing team that worked on the FIFA editing tool, it is very simple to install a lot of these mods. So I will show you guys exactly how to do it and you will have a fully modded decked out version of the game. Whatever mods that you want to install, you will be able to do just that. So I will have the links to all the websites in the description. I will also let you guys know what website to go to as we get to it. So the first thing first, you will need some type of extractor. So I use WinRAR personally. You do not even have to buy it. Just download WinRAR, go through, click that button, hit download here. You will put in an email if you want to, but you don't even have to do that. It will hit save file. And once you do that, it will actually download it and you are done. You don't need WinRAR anymore, but this will give you step-by-step -step on how to install it if you need to install it. You see right here, it's a save file. You're fine, just use the link in the description and you will be 100% okay. So once you do that, you will get to your download folder. You will have WinRAR here. Just double click on that, set it up. I already have it installed, so I will skip that portion. But like I said, it shows you step-by-step on the website exactly how to do that. So install WinRAR, make sure it is running on the PC. Step number two is to download the FIFA editing suite. We will use the mod manager. Now, only use this editor if you are trying to create and import your own mods. If you're just simply downloading and installing mods, you do not need this whatsoever. Instead, you will need this mod manager one. So what you would do here, click download. It will take you to a website to actually download it. Hit download. This is in real time. It's 63 megabytes. It does not take that long at all to download it. You hit that. Once it gets there, hit save file. And it should go to wherever your, your um, download location is. So you get to FIFA Mod Manager, and the reason why you need WinRAR is because you will right-click this. I'm on Windows 11, so it looks a little bit different, but even if you're on Windows 10, you will get a file like or a menu like this. For me, I just hit Extract Files. You can hit Extract here, whatever. Hit OK. It will extract it, and then you will get the folder of the game. I placed this in my Documents folder, so I will literally just click and drag. You can also copy and paste. Whatever your method is, just get it to the location that you want it like desktop documents folder program file wherever it is just make sure you know exactly where it is because you need to get it from the downloads folder at least i would prefer you to get it away from the downloads folder so you don't accidentally erase it if you need it but like i said i have it in my documents folder so we'll go here and this is where i actually have it installed so my documents my fifa manager 1.10 and you will have the mod manager itself so once you click on it, I have it up in the background. Let me close that. Once you click on it, it will pop up here. So for you, you won't have anything here because you have not set this up yet. I, of course, already have it because I have it installed. But what you will want to do is click on new. You can hit scan for game, see if that works. Or you could click on new. Go to wherever you have your game located. So it could be anywhere. For me, it's under program files origin games and then madden nfl 22 this is all personalized so it is of, of course impossible for me to tell you exactly where you have it installed uh, most people by default it will go to your program files but this is where it's at for me uh, it will be different for you but you will go find the file click on the exe so the actual game itself once you do that it's simple you just hit open and then it will pop up here so from here you will click on the game and you can do this for it'll work for FIFA as well if you want to install mods for FIFA. This is exactly how you would do it as well. So you will click on the game, you just hit select, and now we are in the FIFA mod manager. It will tell you the game that you are in in parentheses, Madden NFL 22. And this mod manager is insanely, insanely convenient and very cool and straight to the point. So you have your available mods, and these are all of the games you have downloaded. And then you have all of your applied mods. So for this instance, we will be 
updating the gameplay mods. So I've already removed it. You can click on one, hit remove, whatever. I've already removed it so you guys can see a fresh install of Sabo's gameplay mod version 1.2, which is the newest version available, which came out on January uh, 2nd, I believe, January 3rd. There it is. So for me, like I said, I get a lot of my mods from the Madding Modding Community Discord. Um, so I will come here. I'm looking for the Sabo's mod 1.2. It has a couple of fixes. You will go to the link. This could be different based off of whatever mod, again, that you are trying to install. We want to hit download, and we will start downloading uh, 1.2. So you want to hit save. You don't want to hit open. You want to hit save. It should take you back to your downloads folder where you can see the actual file. Bring up your Madden, uh, your FIFA mod manager. I want to call it Madden mod manager. Your FIFA mod manager, bring that up, and you will take the file that you just installed, Click and drag and drop it into the mod manager. You will see that menu right there, drag and drop. Once you are in the window, you will drop it and it will be somewhere in this list. Typically it's already highlighted. So you see it's already purple before we did anything. And that is the gameplay mod. And this is once again in your available mods. Now what you want to do is move it from the available mods to your applied mods. And what you would do is you will click on it, hit apply mods, and then it will move over. Now, by default, I believe every single time you do that, it goes down to the bottom. Now, it tells you right here, the mod at the bottom has the highest priority, and that is true. So, you see the numbers 1 through, we have 27 mods installed, and number 1 is going to be the top priority. What that means is, if you have any conflicts, it will take the lowest number, so 1 over 2, 2 over 3, etc., over the higher number so for me i have heavy snow field and i have the light snow field so what you will want to do is if you want the heavy snow field to uh, show up because it is a higher number over this you will need to make sure that this is unchecked and to uncheck it you just simply click on the check and then the game will just ignore this and it'll move on to the heavy snow field if you have both checked um, you don't have to necessarily uncheck it. I would just to make sure there's no conflicts, but you don't necessarily have to because the game will read the light snow field ahead of the heavy snow and it will apply this texture mod over this texture mod. So make sure you have it in order for me. Gameplay always number one because we want to make sure there's nothing you know, getting in the way of the gameplay mod. Franchise mod, of course, second, but you could have anything, truly, anything in any order that you want to do. So I have some stuff here that I want to show you guys. We will delete this one as well because I will also show you guys how to install just minor stuff. But that is, in, in, that is mostly it. That is mostly it. So um, like I said, I, I always talk about the Madden modding communities where I get a lot of my mods from. You don't have to only get mods from here. But you do have the scoreboards um, that I typically use are in here. And you can come here to download them. Um, the gameplay mod from Sabo, the franchise mod from Sabo, they're all available for you to download and install here. The uh, Start Today mods are available here. The college, college football mods are available here. And your community creation mods are available here. So with the college football mods, what I do is once you come here, you can hit this plus and it, you will be able to create a new profile. Um, I just named mods NCAA mod, and you see our applied mods are different. You, this doesn't change your available mods, but your applied mods are different. And this is just simply me putting in the D105 mod, which is the college football mod. But if I want to use go back to Sabo, you just come back here, click on the profile, and this will load all of this stuff up. So when you go back here, I go to community creations. You just want to add one more mod just so you guys can see that it truly does work. So say we want this rebranded Jets team. You'll come here, click on whatever mod you want. This one is simple. We'll hit save file. It will come back to your download folder. You'll bring back up the mod manager and you will just simply drag. It says Jets rebranded. Hit apply. It will come here. Of course, we do not want this to be the number one mod. So you can simply hit this, which will take it to the complete top. You don't have to do that. You can maybe put it at, I don't know, let's say we want to put it at number five. Wherever you want to, as long as there's no conflict, it will still show up. Now, once you want to play the game, you need to make sure that you are booting the game from the mod 
manager. Do not go to Origin. Do not go to the EA Desktop Beta app. Whatever the whatever one you're using from EA, I know they're the two different apps. Um, I'm using Origin still. Don't go there. Come here and hit launch. Now, the first time that you made or make changes, or any time that you make changes, really to this apply mod section, it may take a little while to actually apply it, but I will show it to you guys in real time so you can see it. So it's applying mods to the game once we hit launch. Please wait, and the more you add to it or the bigger the files, it could take a little bit longer. You said up to 30 minutes or longer if this is the first time. Tip, I've never had it run over 30 minutes, but I think that could vary based off of your computer and your current setup. But you see right here, it's applying mods to the game. This only happens when you make changes. If you come right back in and you have not made changes, it typically will load right up. So you see that now it's going to launching game. It knows where the, the game is located. Now, of course, you could go to Origin EA and go offline. We're still online. You see it's working because you see the Sable mods right there. You see the different splash screen. And now we are going in to the actual game. So pretty simple. Um, pretty simple. And you can see that everything will work. So we'll load up a game with the Jets. We'll load up a game in the snow so you guys can see the snow effects, and then you will be able to see the custom scoreboard as well. So we'll come here where you're now in the game, um, fully functional. I would not use these, especially if you have gameplay mods to play online at all. I will strictly stay offline. You could be online like in the servers, but I would not play an online game if that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead, hit the Jets. Random team, of course, Green Bay should be used to um, playing in the snow. Go to ready real quick. Now let's go ahead, say it's a night game, and it's going to be in the snow. I think they call it light snow, whatever. That is it. Load into the game. Shouldn't take too, too long, of course. You load into the game, regular stuff here, and we should be in the snow. So you see the Fox advertisement. You see the snow. Everything is working. You see the rebrand. So the black helmets for the Jets, it looks like. Um, I don't know what color that is. Is that like a, a chrome? That is pretty cool, man. It looks like a, a chromish helmet color. Maybe we could use this for our franchise. I don't know. I'm trying to do my own, but I mean, this is a pretty cool rebrand as well. You see the new jerseys, and everything is pretty much, you know, exactly the way you want it. And that is pretty much exactly all you need to do to get, you know, the mod managers and mods installed in this game. You see the tattoos that I featured on another video showcasing how that mod is now in the game as well. And here you go. So it said light snow. We still have the heavy snow, you know, implemented. It's always going to show up in snow games. So if you have that checked and you're playing a game in partly cloudy or clear or even rain, it's not going to show up there, man. But you do see we have that Fox scoreboard. And remember, we had a little conflict where it actually said Fox and it showed CBS. But because Fox was the lower number of the two, it will take that file over the file that's a higher number. But that is it. And now we're into the game. We have the gameplay mod. And you see a flag already being thrown on the play right there, which is really cool. I love this mod a whole lot, man. We're getting a lot of blacks. The game, my game isn't showing black screens. This is because I'm not actually recording the game. I am screen recording as opposed to showing the actual game. So that's the only reason it's flickering. Trust me, I'm looking at the game. It is not flickering itself. It's just because I'm not downloading the actual game, man. So we dropped that pass there. Pretty cool Jets uniforms, man. Maybe we do something with it. Um, or we just keep it like this. I don't think that's bad looking at all, man. I don't think that's bad looking at all, man. But that is it for this, man. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Hopefully, this tutorial helped. I want to keep it short to the point, but show you all the steps. I will have the links to all of the websites that you need in the description, including the link so you could join the Madding Modding Community Discord. Big shout out to all of the guys over there that, that put in a ton of work in getting things, these things you know, installed and working. Of course, I've already showed you guys I'm working on learning how to make some of these myself. 
um, so I could do some cool things as well. Um, so I want to help out, do my part for the community. Hopefully this helps you guys out as well. I'll let you guys know maybe other tutorials. Maybe we'll let you guys know how to get the college revamp mod, all that good stuff in the future. But hopefully this helped. If it did help, let me know. Let me know that it helped, man. Leave this video a like. All that stuff helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.